TIFU, having three daughters this is happening right now. And there's a happy ending. Just need to get it off my chest as it is 12.21 am where I am. We have a dog, a really stupid dog that we love a lot. We also have three girls that are messy. Constantly I tell them to tidy up after themselves, but no. So here's the TIFU, it is the holiday season so I let things slide. The room is a mess, oh well. Let's deal with it over the the weekend. Somehow the dog ate a scrunchie and my daughter freaked out. My other two daughters were crying. The doggo was unfazed. My wife called the vet and got an emergency appointment. She went with my oldest kid. The emergency practice managed to get the dog to throw up. It wasn't one scrunchie, it was two, three pieces of Lego, an earring and a memory game tile that came out. So tomorrow morning my kids are going to clean up the living room. They do not know it it yet. I did wake up my younger kids and told them the dog was going to be okay. Not sure about the bill, but love your pets and love your children. TLDR let my kids make a mess because it was Christmas. The dog went bonkers. You could use your dog as a safe deposit box. If watching vet shows has taught me anything, your dog must be a lab. It isn't Christmas without induced vomiting at the vet. Perfect teachable moment. Clean up your shit or next time the dog dies. Voila, tidy house. If this ever happens again and you can catch it, you can feed your dog a cap or two, based on weight, of hydrogen peroxide. They'll throw up pretty quickly. I had a dog that loved to eat apricot pits, I caught him doing it once and fed him some hydrogen peroxide. He barfed up like four apricot pits, half of a rubber dog ball, and some rope toy. Watched him much closer after that. Honestly, even though you have a vet bill, you also have some leverage. All of those girls loved their pup, and now they have been through the home version of, scared straight. I think that after they do a major cleanup today, you should institute a random 3-5 to five minute, puppy pickup, anytime it's needed maybe before supper, during a commercial, or at bedtime. You could even hand each of the girls a shoebox to hold the items they find. Just set the timer, yell, puppy pick up, and have fun watching them scramble. They don't want to clean up for you, parents are boring. But they will remember how scared they felt for their pet and it can help start a new routine. Both of my dogs used to, used to, regularly eat my partner's panties and socks, as well as small-ish solid things they hoovered around the house, and then shit them out whole. They are two, 160 plus LB Mastiffs, that don't eat stuff they're not supposed to anymore. But I had a solid year, year and a half finding shit covered panties and socks in the backyard cleaning up. All that said, I know scrunchies. Rubber bands and the like can possibly be dangerous, even fatal to a dog if eaten, but I have to ask, could you just given them a half a day to see if they passed it? Anyway, sorry for your holiday troubles, hope you and your family enjoyed the celebration despite the troubles. Lastly, good on you all for taking care of your animals. Sounds like you are an excellent partner to both the kids and the dogs. Cheers, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Misleading title. Was thinking you regretted having spawn. I'm disappointed. More like, TIFU by having three messy daughters and a stupid dog. Three daughters. Well good luck with that. My beagle ate three pounds of chocolate and candy on Christmas Eve. Tinfoil wrappers and all. She's still around. Keeps shitting out tinfoil though. Now you know where to look if something goes missing suddenly. Answer. Dogs poop. Lol. So funny. My dogs ate a hole in the drywall once. Also my prescription glasses, two pairs, four years apart, a $20 bill, an ice pack, a glove, a dish scrubber, the rear view mirror frame in my car, a seat belt latch in my car, and so, so much more. And lived to tell the tale. One had to have surgery for a blockage once because she swallowed a tennis ball, but she survived that too. And may I say, they gobbled up said items right in front of family members. That feeling when you're yanking a slobbery object out of their mouth, sternly commanding, leave it. Leave it. Here's a treat. A treat. And you lose your grip and down it goes. You're like, now what? Friend, as your daughters get older move the trash bin in the bathroom to a lockable cupboard. I've had several friends whose dog would love to chew used pads and or tampons. Also why I don't like dogs licking my face. I don't want to tell you about the time I extricated an entire paper towel from my dogs. Um. Back end. I am super lucky with my dog and that if he does manage to get something he's not supposed to have he will just play with it and if no one tries to take it away from him he just leaves and doesn't care about it anymore. That's a Christmas to remember.
That first line, three daughters and a happy ending completely put me on the wrong track.